This mini Dutch apple pie has a perfectly sweet apple filling, a buttery shortbread crust, and plenty of crumbled topping. It's the perfect mini dessert. Let me show you how to make it. We'll start by making the crust. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Using a hand mixer, mix together two and a half tablespoons of softened butter and two tablespoons of granulated sugar in a medium-sized bowl until well blended. Add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and mix until combined. Lightly butter a five inch baking dish and press the dough firmly into it using your fingertips or the back of a spoon. So if you don't have a five inch baking dish, you can use a dish of similar size, including a four by six inch rectangular dish or a six inch round baking dish. Basically anything with a base area of 24 to 28 square inches. Put the baking dish in the oven and bake for 18 to 20 minutes or until the crust is lightly golden. Remove from the oven and set it aside to cool, which takes about 20 minutes. Next, we'll make the apple filling. You're going to need two to two and a half cups of sliced apples for the filling. You can use Gala, Honeycrisp, Fuji, Granny Smith, or any other variety of apples you may have in your market. Peel and core two to three medium-sized apples, then cut the apples into quarter-inch slices or chunks until you have between two and two and a half cups. Make sure your apple slices are around the same thickness. This way, the apples all bake evenly. Place the slices in a medium-sized bowl and sprinkle them with two teaspoons of lemon juice to help keep them from turning brown. Combine two tablespoons of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg in a small bowl. Add the flour mixture to the apple slices and stir to distribute the flour through the apples so they're all well coated. Then stir in a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now pour the coated apples over the baked pie crust. Now for the topping. In a small bowl, stir together a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of brown sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Blend in three tablespoons of softened butter using a fork and mix until combined. Put the topping over the apple filling and place the baking dish on a baking sheet just to catch any possible spillage. Bake for 55 to 60 minutes or until the filling is bubbly and the topping is golden. Remove the pie from the oven when it's done and let the pie cool to room temperature before enjoying it.